Related to leukemia, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, muscular dystrophy, Huntington's disease, HIV, and even cancer. This is a very short list that revolutionary genome editing technology CRISPR can entirely eradicate. Genome editing technology that utilizes a bacterial immune system is made up of three main parts, a guide RNA, Cas9 enzyme, and a template DNA. After insertion into a host genome, guide RNA aka a short sequence of RNA molecule finds its matching sequence. In clinical applications, this sequence is mostly faulty gene, mutated gene that causes health issues and further implications. After finding the complementary sequence, guide RNA binds with it, and here is where the Cas9 enzyme shows up. The particular enzyme cuts off the target sequence and by the mighty power of non-homologous and joining a new corrected sequence, a template DNA is introduced into a double strand break and the broken part is recorrected. Genetic disease is eradicated and the problem is finally solved. In a case of new application where the correct sequence is introduced into a recipient's body, it is important to target not only one cell, but a group of cells or a tissues. And here comes the huge needle viral vector. In this case, it's adeno associated virus. This type of vector has become widely accepted as a low risk standard in a therapeutic applications because it normally does not cause an immune response that might be detrimental for a host. Viral vector acts as a delivery vehicle of CRISPR machinery because of its compact structure and an ability to introduce a foreign information right into an eukaryotic cell nucleus. Therapeutic applications has become rather straightforward when a couple of years ago viral gene transfer was tabooed and hardly utilized in a clinical applications.